All right, guys, so the AT&T Quickfire built by UT Starcom is really aimed at the messaging crowd, those that text heavily and those that occasionally use the web. It does have a Polaris built HTML browser, although it's not so fully capable. You're not going to have an iPhone-esque browsing experience, but if you use the internet passively, it's certainly passable and actually can be quite useful. So the device itself is a little bit on the thick side, but nothing terribly bad. It's certainly a little bit pocketable. Let me give you guys a comparison here with a few devices you might be familiar with. So here's the quick fire against the iPhone. You can see it's a little bit smaller, and it's still it's substantially thicker. Here we've got the BlackBerry Storm. Turn this around here. Almost identical lengthwise, and just a hair thicker, but nothing too bad. So go ahead and move this back up. As I said in the hardware overview, the QWERTY keyboard, which is really the meat and potatoes of the device is very easy to use and actually very finger friendly. I found myself adapting to the keyboard after just a few minutes and I think that you will too. One thing to know about the device, AT&T is marketing this as a music centric device but they don't include any headphone adapters in the box and there isn't a 3.5 millimeter headphone um, port on this at all. So you have to go ahead and buy that extra which is a little bit strange for a phone centric device. However, what this device is going to be used for mostly is for messaging, and that's really where it excels. MMS, text messaging are a breeze. The IM client is a piece of cake to use. Even the built-in messaging and email application is nice and easy. And you can set up Yahoo Mail, Gmail very easily and uses the web browser to access it. And actually does a very admirable job. It is a full 3G phone, which is nice. You actually do get very quick speeds. And you also get simultaneous voice and data, which is quite handy. It's got a 1200 milliamp hour battery, and AT&T is estimating three hours of talk time or 288 hours of standby time. Uh, and actually, the battery life seems like you might get that. Um, I used it for a few days, and by the end of the day, I still had over half the battery life, and that's with a full 3G network. So again, this is still a phone. It's got to make good phone calls. Actually, I have to say, this makes the best phone calls out of any phone I've been testing recently. That includes the iPhone, BlackBerry Storm, um, you know, a few other. The sidekick, really call quality on this has been absolutely fantastic. I was shocked. It's crystal clear. The speaker volume on it is quite loud. The speakerphone on it is very loud. And people on the other end really said it sounds like I was on a landline. So, and that's been the same network I've used with other AT&T phones. So really, kudos to AT&T and UT Starcom for putting a great 3G radio in here. Um, so again, call quality, nice and easy. If you guys are looking for a Sidekick competitor and you're on the AT&T network and a QWERTY keyboard is important to you for texting and you want to have IM and you want a camera for fun and email is not so important and browsing experience isn't so important but something you like to do passively, this device is definitely for you. Out of a 1 to 5 scale, I'm going to give it a solid 3.5. Um, it's lacking just because of the music player. The navigation can be a little bit squirrely when you hit the buttons. On it, sometimes you have to double tap to make sure you really get it. The screen isn't as responsive as I would have liked, but I can overlook that because the strong points of the phone, namely the keyboard and the four-way navigation, make touching the screen not a necessity. It's more of an added cool feature to be able to touch the screen on a phone like this. So if this is what you're looking for, I can definitely recommend it. You won't be disappointed. Just know what you're getting going in. And it's available on AT&T's network for $99 after rebates. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed. My name is John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com. And if you want some exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash John4Lakers. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.